Starts with the backcourt. Now, it's a lot of eyeballs going to be on this team. You know, they struggled last year in year number one under former Cyclone player Fred Hoiberg. But they have a lot of new names, but names that may not be new to you. We'll break down who those guys are in just a moment. Here he is, though, the coach with Sean Farm. Coach, last year you took over and had limited expectations heading into this season. What did you take away from year one, and, and how have you altered and changed as a coach now with higher expectations this season? Well, year one, uh, you know, even though we didn't have much depth, uh, you know, that group played played its heart out every night. You know, we, most nights played seven guys. Uh, occasionally we play eight, and our eighth was, was a walk-on last year. Uh, but those guys left everything they had out on the floor. Uh, lost a lot of close games. You know, we lost nine games by six points or less. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to close some of those out this year. I think what will help us most is our depth. Uh, you know, a lot has been said, uh, talked about with our four transfers. Uh, those guys sat out last year. They're hungry. Uh, they're ready to get back out there and start competing again. Uh, will definitely give us more options late in games. Let's let's focus in on those transfers. How much does it benefit them coming into this season now, knowing that they've already had basically a year in your system underneath their belt? Well, I think the great thing that they were able to accomplish last year is the chemistry that they were able to build playing on the scout team. Uh, you know, those guys really bought into their roles of helping prepare uh, the guys that were out there playing, uh, getting them ready for competition. Uh, so, you know, not only playing on those scout teams, but staying back and watching games together when they couldn't travel on the road with our team. Uh, you know, they worked out three hours before a game, uh, you know, the four of them, and, uh, and really built that chemistry and spent a lot of time together. I think that was very attractive for some of them coming in that they wouldn't be sitting out on their own, uh, that they'd have others they'd be sharing that experience with. Uh, so they're ready. I mean, they've been in the system. You know, a lot of times you bring in and you have a lot of new faces. Uh, you're bringing in new players that have not been a part of your program. Uh, these guys know our system. Uh, had a great opportunity this year to go to Italy and spent 10 days over there and played four games and had 10 practices leading into that trip. Uh, so we've got a pretty good taste of who we are right now. Uh, you know, we've put in a lot of our philosophies. Now it's just a matter of meshing uh, and trying to put guys in a spot where they can, they can be successful. A lot of buzz around Royce White, and he was all everything coming out of high school, went to Minnesota, left uh, amidst some legal issues. Uh, how has those experiences, though, helped him prepare for now being in the spotlight at Iowa State? Well, you go back to his high school career and, you know, his, his uh, senior year, he went 31-0. You know, didn't lose a game. Very versatile player. Uh, he's six, seven and a half, two sixty-five. 265. Uh, biggest hands of anybody I ever played with, and I played some pretty big guys. Uh, he benched uh, 185 28 times, which is, which is almost, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy for a guy to be that strong and have the ability to handle the basketball like he does. He's maybe uh, the only guy on a roster that thinks uh, like a point guard. Uh, you know, his ability to get by guys, especially big defenders that are going to be guarding him in the perimeter, and make that instinctive pass. Uh, you know, shooting, so much of it is timing. You know, when you get that pass on point, uh, when it comes to you at the right time, it's so much easier to knock down that shot. And Royce has that instinctive ability to make that pass. Uh, you can also use him as a facilitator in different spots. You can put him at the elbow. You can put him on the block. Uh, and as strong as he is, he's going to demand a lot of double teams down there. Uh, and hopefully we'll have some shooters that can knock down those shots this year. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you. These guys? Oh, God. All right, so here we go, Iowa State. And they're, they're talking about the transfers, guys. Again, Chris Allen, maybe the name most people remember out of Michigan State. Chris Babb out of Penn State. Chris uh, uh, Royce White from Minnesota. Anthony Booker, Southern Illinois. A couple of these guys just flat out shoot the ball. How much did these guys change Fred Hoiberg's team? He, 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 Fred Hoiberg might need a lab coat instead of a whistle because I don't know if this has Chemistry. happened in college basketball before. Six transfers on one team. Here's the good thing about transfers, though. You got them. They're not going anywhere else. You know, you have them there. They made their one transfer. They sat out. And like I said, I think that foreign tour that they took really worked out well for them because now they're playing together. And excuse the redundancy, but Royce White is terrific. He's athletic, could do multiple things, can step out. I think they're going to be a surprise in the Big 12 yeah. this year. Yeah, and I saw them last year, and they, they were the best 32-minute team in college basketball. They just ran out of steam. What uh, Deontay Garrett, who, who shot 25% of their shots last year, they have better balance. And when they talk about a Royce White, think about a Tobias Harris last year that played at Tennessee at 260 pounds. That's the kind of game that he has that he can control the game. They've got transfers, but they do have talent, and they will be a better team. They should win over 20 games. Best 32 minute team in America. It's <laughs> 40 minute college. But if game. you're high school, it's not. 40 minute when game. you only play 30. They just ran out of